your world needs now is water, sweet water. We need that and we go looking for it in all the wrong places, basically meaning outside ourselves. So we try to be you know, rich or famous or important or smart or funny, trying to get somebody else to love us. And what I want to encourage you to do is to really give that love to yourself. To take in your inner lover. Go ahead and just do that. Just take a breath. Take in your inner lover. I know for me one of the places is those parts, there's parts of ourselves that we can love and there's parts that are harder to love. For me, one of the parts was that I, I grew up with a fear of public humiliation. And it, it, when I, part of it, I wanted to hide that part. And the other part of me wanted to really face that and love that, and I did. And I see now that that's what brought me to Toastmasters, what brought me in connection with all of you. And so I really treasure that part of myself. So all those parts of yourself, treasure those. The second gift that I want you to give yourself is your inner warrior. We all have values, and our inner warrior is the one who says, that's what you want, I'm going to help you get it. I'm going to say no to things that distract me. I'm going to say no to things that are what somebody else thinks I should have. I'm going to say no to those things that I think I should have, but I, it really is not what I want. The warrior gets really clear about what I want and says yes to those things that I want and no to the things that get in the way of that. The East, the West, the South, and the warrior. And yesterday I actually had an experience of my warrior coming up. When I was asked by somebody, I, I shared a little bit about the archetypes, and somebody said, well, would you share more about that? And I said, well, I don't really, uh, I think that's all I have to share. Yeah, and then I thought about that, and I went, oh, what I really mean is that I don't really know how to share it perfectly, <clears throat> but I have a real value in this. And I ended up working with a couple people for an hour on this, after I said that I didn't have anything to share. So that was my warrior coming in. Take a moment, and in your shoulders, because that's where we feel our warrior, take a breath, that guardian that helps us get what we want in our life. The next one is our magician. Leonard was talking about visioning, and our magician is the one that's like a Google map. You know, what we focus on gets, we draw it to ourselves. We start seeing it clearer. And if we start worrying, we draw more things to worry about. <laughs> and so if we start really magically looking at anything that we want more of, for me, when I really love waltz, and in 10 days I'm going to be giving my fourth waltz lesson because I've drawn that to me. So visioning is not just seeing you know, like down as you Google into the earth, you know, more and more about it, you see it that way, but you're also visioning, seeing into the future. Breathe in, the magician is in our eyes and our visioning, so take a moment to just breathe in into your eyes, your ability to vision <coughs> and your future. <coughs> the last one I want to present to you is your king. Now that's what I personally really experienced this last weekend, was I went through a lot of things about, it was personally, my, my mission is to dance and play my life deeply and fully by being in the present moment. And during the weekend, I got to a place where I realized that I wasn't doing that in some ways. And I went, oh, okay, well, maybe I don't do that. And I wasn't thinking about my mission. It was just like that I don't play as much as I would like to. There, we did some playing, and I didn't feel like I did as well as other people did. 
And they went, okay, maybe I don't do that. And then I went, oh, wait a minute, that's my mission. And the reason it's my mission is because that's what I want more of in my life. And what the king does <laughs> is the king is the one who says to us, you are doing the best that you can. And honoring ourselves for doing that. And really blessing ourselves for doing the best that we can from where we are. That there's nothing more we need. Breathe into your king. We haven't done that yet. And the king is in your posture. So I just feel it's the regal variant is that uh, the king or queen for yourselves. It's your royal energy. So just breathe that in. We can have too much lover. We need balance. Today is about balance. We can have too much lover and we can get self-indulgent. We can have too much warrior and that's when our critic comes out. We can have too much magician and we manipulate other people. We have too much king and we can kind of become a tyrant with our power that we have found, with our abilities. So I hope you continue to play with these archetypes that are found in every culture in the world. Every human culture has these same archetypes in some form that they honor. And I want you to invite them into your life if you haven't already started that and enjoy these gifts. <laughs>